In this video, we're going to introduce something new in ActionScript, but this time we're going to do it using the code snippets. We haven't really worked with text too much, so let's introduce how you work with text and modify it using a code snippet that's going to display a text field when I click on a particular object. So in my project here, I have that same blue square we've been working with. I'm going to select it here on the stage and then apply this action here. Click to display a text field. If you notice, the um, tooltip that appears, appears here um, says clicking on the specified object displays a text field. A text field is a special class inside of ActionScript that, does, that allows you to input and display text um, in a multiple def multitude of fonts and colors and different styles. So we're going to take this and apply this onto that object. You'll see that there's a whole bunch of code that's been created for us. Let's take a look and actually uh, explore the code that's created for us here. So if we look at the instructions here, we'll see that we have replaced the value 200 with the x-coordinate, replaced value 100 with the y-coordinate, and there's a string here that we can use to modify how we work with the code. So if we have an event listed that's been created for us that's been based on that blue square object that's on the stage. And now it's creating a new text field for us. And then it's providing a string of what we can do to, to, uh, to put into that particular text field. We have an event handler here that's based on the mouse event click. And it's creating a new text field. And you'll see that there are some options here around auto sizing, background, borders, and other things that are displayed here. Finally, it adds the child to the display stack so that the text field actually shows up when we run the project. So let's modify this a little bit. And well, first let's run it and see how see what happens first. So if I click it, you'll see that the text field appears, but it's off the screen. So let's modify that so that it displays, um, let's say that it displays right next to the object. So we're going to modify X here and say that the position of this is actually going to be based on blue square dot X plus blue square dot width plus five. I'm going to run this and just show you how, how this works. You'll notice that the position of the object is now five pixels to the right of the object that we had created. That's because I'm now positioning it dynamically based on where the object is. Let's do this to the Y coordinate. I'll be able to explain this a little bit better. Blue square dot y. I'm going to click. You'll see that the text field now appears to, directly to the right of the box. If we look at line 21, you'll see blue square dot x. That's the position of the, of the object on the x coordinate. We're then adding in the width. We're accessing the width property of it, and then we're adding 5. So we have the x plus the width plus 5 extra pixels. So that's how we're positioning it up on the x-axis. On y, we want to position it at the top of it. There are other things we can do to modify this. So let me modify the, the text string here and say that this is, this is a blue square. Save this and run it again. There. You'll see that the text is now displayed on this particular item correctly now. Let's also modify so it doesn't do it on click. Let's do it so it does it on mouse over. I can modify my event listener here and say instead of mouse event dot click, do mouse event dot mouse over. So using the code snippets, we haven't really covered text areas before. We've been able to introduce new functionality that we didn't even know about before and start learning how to modify it and work with it in our ActionScript projects. In the next video, we're going to talk about how you can customize your own mouse cursor using, using code snippets, which is something that a lot of people want to do, but frankly, it's sometimes difficult. Luckily, the code snippets will make that a lot easier, and we'll cover that in the next video.